Hi, this is a video to demonstrate to Scientolopedia.org users how to access torrents. The first step in accessing torrents is you are going to have to download the software. Torrents are peer-to-peer -peer file shares, and what that means is you have a special program that you run, and it accesses other people over the internet who have the files you're looking for, and it provides uh, to other users those same files that you would like to share and it allows people to move files from person to person. So we're going to visit utorrent.com we're going to download the free version click save file run the software and then we're going to use and install a wizard, the wizard and uh, select the options. So the first step is we're going to go to right here to utorrent.com oops I guess you would see it right here and we're going to download this software and the first thing we see is that they would like us to upgrade to the paid version I'm going to decline that there's no reason for that you can go right here to free download and just save the file right there Okay, the file's done. It's very fast. It's called utorrent.exe. Go ahead and run that program. And I'll click run. And there we go. And it doesn't take too long. There we go. We have the install wizard. So we're going to click next and beware of online scams. Click next and agree to the end user license agreement. Agree. Then there are options to create a start menu entry, uh, create quick launch icon and create a desktop icon. I'm going to leave all those just as they are there and I'm going to click next. And then we have a few very or two very important options. The first one is add an exception to uTorrent fire in the Windows firewall and this allows the Windows firewall to create an exception for uTorrent which means it will not block uTorrent and that's what we want and the other thing we want is to start uTorrent when Windows starts up now some people don't like that uh, if you find this is not what you like you can always change this option later but this allows the torrents that you're sharing with other people to always be available whenever your computer is on. So I like that option. I'll click next. I'm going to uncheck this. This is a free um, compilation mixtape of various artwork that they're sharing uh, to give people something to download right away. But I'm going to uncheck that so that we can have a faster download. And I'll click here they're offering some other service. I'm going to click decline down here and I'm going to click finish. And there we go. That's it. This is the software. You'll see you have you you'll have torrents listed right here on the left hand side. And that shows you what you have downloading. We don't have anything yet, but we'll get to that briefly. Okay, so the next part is we're going to configure the software. To configure the software, we want to encrypt all of the torrents. This hides what you're actually downloading from your ISP, from your internet service provider. And the other thing we're going to do is choose the download location. This is important if you have an external drive that you would like to put uh, the large amount of information you might download off of torrents onto. That way you don't take up all the drive space on your laptop. Oop, let's go to uTorrent. There, oops. there we go. So, right up here in options, it's the middle option there, or the middle uh, link in the menu. Come down to preferences. You can also get to here by pressing control P. And you're going to see uh, BitTorrent. It's the sixth click down right there. I'm going to click that. 
and you're going to want to uncheck allow incoming legacy connections. This is going to make it a more robust, secure, and private internet connection. The next part is where it says outgoing. We're going to sh choose enabled. So now we have a protocol encryption to en that's enabled and we're not going to allow any legacy connections. I'll click apply. The next part is the third option down up here. It says directories. We're going to click that and under there you'll see the first line says put new downloads in. Check that. Click your little three dots on the far right hand side. That, lo that lets you choose where you're going to put it. And I'm going to put it in my shared network drive which has lots of space in it. And once you have the location saved click select folder down here and click apply again and then click OK. And that's it. uTorrent is now ready to use. The next step is we're going to want to start downloading a torrent. This gets us the information that we're looking for. Now at Scientolopedia you're going to copy a magnet link then we're going to choose add URL in our uTorrent software and we're going to paste the URL in there. And then I'm also going to show another option at the piratebay.se where the software works a little more slick because uh, they're not limited to the Scientolopedia technology. Uh, Scientolopedia uses Wikimedia which doesn't give you every option on a web page but it gives you a lot of options so unfortunately it doesn't have this nice link so at the end I'm going to show you this the piratebay.se. So we're going to go back to Scientolopedia. I'm on the page that's called Getting All the Lectures. There's right now a link to this from the front uh, website, the front home page of the website. And if you come over to 8, you'll see number 8 in the contents is Links to Torrents. And that's what we want. So here are your variety of different um, your different uh, lecture series that you can download. And what I'm going to do is choose one. This 50 LA lecture series is actually one of the smallest ones, so I'm going to demonstrate with this one. If you put your mouse over this place where it says magnet and it goes all the way down to 1337, all of your links should look like that. If you triple click, which is three fast clicks, that selects the entire link. Then you can either right click and choose copy or you can hit control C. Now we're ready to go back to our uTorrent software and now you want to add torrent from URL. It's the third option. You can also get to here by hitting control U. Now if you notice as soon as it brings up this dialog I have a link already in here. That's actually the link we already copied. uTorrent is smart enough to know that if you're going to be adding a URL into the software, you've probably copied it, and there it is. So we're going to click OK. As you see, the download location we have chosen earlier is listed right here. You can change that for each moment if you want to, but it's a good idea to go ahead and change it permanently if you're going to keep all of your items in one location. And we're going to click OK down here and that's it. Now you're going to notice what happened here is in Torrents we have the 50 LA lecture series listed and nothing's really happening yet. We're going to leave this here for just a moment and we're going to come back to it. Torrents are something that require a little bit of patience because this software has to go out there on the internet and find out where is someone who has this locate who has this information it, uh, it's not instant. It does take some patience and, and so we're going to leave it here for just a while and I'm going to demonstrate another part, another nice thing with torrents. To do this I'm going to go to a website called thepiratebay.se and the Pirate Bay has pretty much everything. I'm going to type in, uh, I actually already typed it here, Scientology and I'm going to click pirate search right here and there's all kinds of documents here
And the reason I wanted to come here, let's see if I can find this, right here. This is the library of L. Ron Hubbard texts from Free Zone Scientology. And this is text, so you don't have any audio in here, but uh, this information is in multiple different locations on the internet. But I'm just going to use this to demonstrate what you can do with this little magnet. If you see this little magnet underneath the words Library of L. Ron Hubbard texts from Free, Free Zone Scientology, the magnet will get you exactly what's on that page there. I'm going to click that and you're going to see what happened is we have this window that popped up. This is our uTorrent software running here and I'm going to click OK. And it's going to go out there and it's going to grab that information. Now this one's starting a little quicker. It looks like it uh, already figured out that this is 3.34 gigabytes of information. Uh, torrents are each dependent upon uh, their own supply and so it looked like this one had six people out there supplying it and it's going to happen a little faster. But that's it. That's everything you need to know to get downloading and to start uh, sharing your files with others and uh, hope you enjoy this video. We're going to make a couple more on using a seed box as well as using a torrent behind a VPN. But for now, thanks for watching.